Hello everyone, BK Gam here, and I thought then I probably should do a little random gameplay because it's gonna take me a while to finish off ye all Zelda of uh, the variety that I don't want to mention. So, well. Random gameplay. <laughs> Pokemon Puzzle Challenge for the Game Boy Color. And we have a Flying Pikachu promotional card from the trading card game right off the bat, along with Flying Pikachu. Pichu. That That's coming in a future release. Anyway, let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, what the heck. <laughs> let's play it on normal here. Hi, how's the challenge so far? It's doing well, Professor Elm. Opponents on the normal path will be harder than those on the easy path. Or at least, that's how I remember it since the last time I played. So it it, it, it went well on easy, let me tell you. <laughs> You'll see trainers other than the gym leaders, too. When you beat those trainers, well, just wait and see. It'll be tough, though. Eh, eh, we'll see about that. I'm just gonna play a couple of stages here. We're tromping through the Johto region as gold here, and... Hey, oh no, it's Falconer, we're already at the first gym battle. What is this craziness I've been waiting? Well, let's begin. So, I didn't lock, unlock all the Pokemon because it's, you know, puzzle-based, and I never felt the need to look up solutions to puzzles because I would kind of ruin the puzzles, but... Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna play Type Advantage and pick Pikachu, even though it has absolutely no difference to the actual battle. So, what you're gonna notice here is that it looks a lot like a certain puzzle game. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Tetris Attack. <laughs> so let's just do some, uh, fancy shenanigans going on here. Oh yeah, look at that, on mastery. Actually, I'm not that good at it, but... <laughs> I should be good enough to beat the game on normal, or at least a couple of stages for the random gameplay. By the way, to uh, move the stack up to give yourself more blocks to work with, just press the B button. Uh, I'm not really worried about the stacks coming up near the top or anything like that, because it's not really that big of a deal at all. I was wondering why I couldn't move there for a second, but I win! <laughs> so, we, while we couldn't see the opponent's side of the screen, they're basically playing a game of their own off-screen, and you gotta kinda estimate how much in trouble they are based on that bar next to their face. In this case, it was at Pidgey's. Sorry, Pidgey, you just couldn't... couldn't take on my fake type advantage. Dang, I lost. I must train harder. Yes, you should. I'm going through Johto once again. Do, 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 do. It is the next town over. Oh no, it's Bugsy! Oh, he's been training and... Oh no, this is gonna be devastating. Fire types in the ground, yeah! <laughs> Kakuna, what? Why Kakuna? Why not the Scyther? <laughs> I forgot about that. Alright, I like to even these out and then kind of give myself as many blocks as possible to work with. And I just take a look-see around here to see what I can chain and stuff. Uh, oh, that was stupid of me. <laughs> uh, oh wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? I am sucking, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I oh yeah, you also lose Pokemon when you game over they'll they'll come back and whatnot, but the idea is not to game over. Anyway, as I said, it doesn't matter what type advantage. I'm just rusty. <laughs> it just um yeah, I'm even off timing my uh little up back and forth type movements there and whatnot. So let's just kinda think things through a little bit better here now. <laughs> Uh, that was decent, and whenever you get those chains and stuff like that, you can actually stop the upward movement, but when you press the B button to increase your stack, it'll actually resume that. And to get rid of garbage blocks, what you do is you destroy stuff next to them, and then you will be golden. These are- oh, I mistimed that. <laughs> that is okay, I'll just move those over there. You can also chain stuff off said garbage blocks too, like I could have moved those greens over there if I was uh, a little bit quicker here, but as I said, a little bit on the rusty side, but that is okay. Let's let's begin another chain here. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, the, oh wait, that's good, that's good actually. <laughs> that's probably gonna be enough to take care of them. Yeah, because it's on normal. You know, I kind of wonder sometimes if the computer is actually doing 
anything on a specific board. I mean, they imply that you're playing against some sort of other board, but you can't see it, and it just seems like that their meter just seems to plummet out of nowhere. Whoa, amazing! I need even more training! Uh, me too, probably, because I, I lost on normal. <laughs> Alright, moving on here, we're at the next place. Oh no! Oh, please don't use the mill tank! Hey, you kept me waiting! Let's cut the ch chat. Oh, 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 please! And I don't have a fighting type! No, I'll use Togepi! <laughs> okay, it's Glove Fairy! <laughs> Maybe they didn't want to spoil the big bad boss Pokemon of the uh, main game, so they just they decided to do things a little bit differently. Um, wait, oh, oh shoot, I went one too far down! That was just a tragedy. <laughs> well, I think I'll wait until that stacks up, there we go. And I'll plop those over there, get those chains set up ahead of time there, set that in there. Yeah, you can do chains in real time, as you can tell here, as well as uh, doing them just like by setting blocks up ahead of time, but not really my style considering that the game is pretty action-packed and speedy and stuff like that. Alright, let's get these set up here. I'll wait till that block falls down, I suppose. Yeah, that's actually an exclamation point block. Yeah, see those exclamation points? Oh, oh, I win. Yeah, see those exclamation point blocks in our stack? If you get any three of those matched up, it'll send a different color block to your opponent in a straight line. You know, it'll just cover the whole thing. But what that does is that it separates the garbage blocks from matching, and then it also separates you being able to just kind of destroy them all at once. <laughs> Aren't you gonna cry about it like you do in the main games? Ah, I guess not. <laughs> so, and also, the size of the garbage block depends on what kind of thing that you do. Like, just combos of, say, four will give your opponent a smaller size block, but a full chain will give a full line of a block, basically. And yeah, that, that all totals up to basically the amounts that you send your opponent and whatnot. Welcome! Will my training pay off? Uh, yeah, probably. I'll use a normal type again because <laughs> it's just good against ghost types and no Gengar here. But yeah, so like if I sent a uh, a four combo over to Morty, it'll do a uh, three block. If I do a, a five block, it'll send the four block. If I do chains, it'll do a six block straight across. And those are probably the best bets. <laughs> Although, um, combining it with, like, combos, uh, like, I mean, combining chains with combos is a nice strategic move, uh, because you can separate stuff from being able to be easily counterable, I guess you could say, uh, but that works more better on computers than it does humans. <laughs> At least in my experience, I've noticed. Uh, let's just see here, I'll just increase my block stack here. And, oh shoot, oh, 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 I wanted to get that purple one over there, but alas, alas, my movement fingers, they are just too, too rusty. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to think of some stuff here that I can chain together. Okay, that's pretty good there, look at that. Oh shoot, oh, ooh, mm, oh, I couldn't get that red heart piece over, and it is a total tragedy. A total tragedy, but I win. <laughs> It, was, it wasn't that much of a tragedy if I won, after all. Yay! Yeah, I guess you do. You're welcome. Wait, didn't Falconer also say you needed more training? Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should use different Pokémon, not just choose... Oh, Jasmine, yes! Hello, how's it going? Yeah, we should. Uh, you could- I believe that we'd normally get another, like, sort of trainer at some moment in time, um, like, between these battles that you can get extra Pokémon for your, uh, party and whatnot, but, eh, not, not that really that important now since I got them unlocked, huh? <laughs> Let's put that there, plop that there, oh shoot, that's not- oh yeah, that's right, I forgot to set those up ahead of time. Ah, amateur move! Amateur move! <laughs> Uh, I wanted, like, oh, how did I, oh, shoot, I messed it up because they weren't really, yeah, they weren't really set up in an ideal fashion. Four combo, send a three block over, 
and plop that over there, I guess, because why not? Just keep piling on the garbage to poor Steelix. See, she used her Ace Pokemon, she didn't use her Magnemites. <laughs> Maybe I'll be able to finish normal before the part's over, who knows? You're getting better. This is hard to say, but good luck. Alright, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's continued dialogue from the easy mode, but I didn't want to play it on easy as I figured it would be too easy, but normal's being pretty easy aside from when I was flubbering around on the second one. Hi, come on in! I've gotta tell ya! I'm better now, so get ready! See, continue dialogue. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's just pop out a Meryl here. And Primeape, that's not the Ace. The Ace is Polyrath, I would say, but... Eh, whatever. Whatever. You know, start with chaining right off the bat there, huh? Uh huh, here goes them fighting words, even though that that's Pokemon speak. It's kind of hard to tell what you're saying, but Pokemon speak, I can tell, is fighting words when need be. Uh, the sop is ending off there, there we go. Yeah, that, I always gotta pay attention to those stops going on there, so just just kind of be careful as to when, like, whatever those blocks change your animation and whatnot. Yeah, it means that the stop is going to be ending soon, in like a, like two seconds or so, or maybe even sooner, I kind of forgot, but just, just know that the blocks change their appearance it is a coming. Ha ha! How's that for perfect timing? Oh shoot! Uh, oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh! I should be sending more stuff ahead of time, but well, well, my future visuals—I should say my uh, setup time and stuff like that—just is incredibly rusty. So I'm not setting stuff up in my planned paths. So I'm only doing like two to four chains at a time when I would normally be doing six or seven on uh, the board size. Alrighty, enjoy your training there, Chuck. And maybe you should use Polyrath next time. <laughs> oh no, Price, are you going to use your Mammal Swine? I mean, not what did I say Mammal, it's Pile Swine. <laughs> mammal Swine is the later generation. Uh, let's go with. Oh wait, did I ever use Chikorita? Maybe I never did. Well, whatever. <laughs> there's still, there's still Claire to do. Let's just go and put those red ones up there in case of the inevitable block that'll come out here. And we shift this when the block is... Oh, I was going to say when the block is right near the end, but alas, alas. Put that there. Uh, oh, wait, that's wrong. Oh, well, that's fine, actually. <laughs> I had to stop going. I had all, everything working in my favor there. All was well. I don't have enough blocks here to continue my chain. Oh, oh I win. <laughs> Just see, it's, it's just like plummeted there. All right, I win. Yeah, 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 let's move on here. <laughs> One more to go. Oh no! Yes, it's a splendid match. You could overcome anything. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Do, 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 do. Going, going, going to the most powerful gym in the country. Kind of. <laughs> you finally made it. How much have you improved? I shall be the one to test you. And Chikorita. <laughs> yeah, now I think I use all of them except Blossom. And Dragonair, not Kingdra. Alas, alas. Uh, I'll put that there so get that set up for the future there. And I'm just gonna move the green over here. See, I'm getting my vision back. Look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit of practice goes a long way in getting that skill back. <laughs> and that, that's the stuff that I would normally visualize when I'm in practice, but I started out bad. <laughs> You're pretty good. But there are still others. Yes. Yes, on other difficulties. Hello, this is Professor Elm. What? You looking for tougher opponents? Then keep going straight. The rest is up to you. Good luck. Okay. Oh wait, you actually do play the uh, Elite Four in this difficulty? Interesting. Interesting. I thought they were on like hard and above. Oh man, Elite Four! Yeah! <laughs> 
<laughs> there probably won't be that much more elite, especially since I just seven chained. Oh, oh, it's our psychic friend Will. Do you wish to challenge the elite four? It won't be easy to defeat us. Let the match begin. I don't know if I would say Jinx is his ace or. Or if it would be his higher level Zatu, but well, looks like we're getting Jinx. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna plop that over there so they don't match up when I put those together there, just to give myself as much leeway. Let's just think about some stuff. Oh, I didn't mean to combo that. I mean, I didn't mean to put those together there. And plop that. Oh, oh, I didn't. Oh, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I didn't wanna put those together. Oh, I mistimed that. That's. Oh, that's what I wanted to do at the upper area there. Oh, shoot. Oh shoot, oh, oh shoot, okay. <laughs> uh, let's move it up one stack, I guess. Put that over there, and begin the chain. I'll try and chain off the garbage here, as I really haven't done that. Oof, because I really haven't done that much, have I? <laughs> I'll put that across there. I will save those purples, I think, and try and... Well, I was going to say, I'll save those purples for later, and for when more garbage comes down, but... Looks like it's coming! <laughs> I don't. I'm not really concerned that much about the garbage or anything like that. It's just, it's just a thing of that I like to keep as many blocks open as possible, so that I can kind of, sort of, uh, chain on my own quickly, as well as chain onto garbage when the garbage falls. You got me. Keep going to see the true power of the Elite Four. Eh. Okay. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Dramatic music. Where's the gates that keep us locked into a room until we lose or win? Who knows? Oh, by the way, even if you lose against the Elite Four here, you could still restart from where you last left off. My skill will be hard to overcome. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, Ninja Boy. Uh, I was going to move around randomly and then pick one, but I ended up picking the blank space of all ones. Oh, Crowbat, that's his ace. Alright, let's get this stuff moved. Oh, I didn't mean to. I wasn't even paying attention, was I? No, I was not. i get this set up here, I guess. Uh, let's see what we can do. How about set this up here, plop that there. Oh, shoot, that's not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Set that up to go around. I need to get my garbage out of the way here, and when the garbage is stacked multiple layers like that, you've actually gotta do this in, like, different waves, and the longer it takes for each wave to, dec to decimate, uh, the easier it is to chain off of it. So, yeah, like, I'm gonna- Oh, I, I was gonna say, I was gonna put the purple underneath that, and then it, it failed. It, it just failed. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, the stop was still going. Everything was all right. Wait, hold on. Take that. And let's see what I can get off this. Oh, that purple one stopped it. <laughs> it was just one one layer too high. Time it? Yeah. Oh, oh wait, what was, I do what was I even doing there? I was at the wrong layer. Oh, whatever. <laughs> let's put this over there. Get this so I can get the whole stack cleared at once. Let's pop that there, we're gonna start chaining off of that. And by the way, when blocks are reforming themselves on the uh, old-fashioned uh, wait time, I guess you can say, you can't, cha you can't chain or move anything until they're done transforming themselves, like them all at once, up at the top, or area, top area. So while there's a stop going over there, it is nothing that you can do over at the top area. You can only just look ahead and try and chain off of that as they become active blocks. You have done well. I must devote myself to my training. Test your skills against the others. Okay. And we're off to see the wizard across the blue brick road. And wait, that, that, none of that even, never mind. <laughs> Elite Four of Uno! Do you think you can match us? We've trained the limits. I see nothing to fear from your face. So let's battle! Feel my incredible power. Ha <laughs> ha! Isn't your catchphrase hoo ha? Which could be taken as a whole lot of different nowadays that they coined a different term, but whatever, whatever, let's just kinda get ourselves set up at the beginning like we usually do. There's always a way to make the stack perfectly even like this at the very beginning, which is kind of why my... Uh, I just, I just kind of go for it. Oh, I mistimed that. 
because it just seems like the best place to do that sort of thing at. And put that over there. Set that up over there. Oh shoot, I need to get two blo- Ah, two yellows over there! <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the hang of this again. You can tell, definitely. Oh, look at that, he's got like a smidge of health left on that. Uh, I'm gonna move that over there. Clear that out of the way. Chain off that. Got a double chain, actually, and I wasn't even going for that. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be the end, yup. Because it just had too little health yet to survive. Alright, Karen is up next! What happened? To think we could lose. Say nothing to me. Continue on. Eh, okay. You, you go ahead and meditate. I will continue on. Still embarrassing that I lost my poor Cyndaquil. My favorite of the Johto starters. <laughs> Alright, Karen. I'm very good. Will you challenge me? I'm sure this will be a good match. Let's begin. Well, you certainly seem confident, so I'm gonna put up my Meryl and use its Ice Beam against you. Oh wait, no, I, don't, I didn't have any TMs. Uh oh, this might be trouble. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do here. Eh, let's just sort of kind of get a little middle going on here, and we pop that around there, and you aim that around there. Oh no, no, I messed it up! Ah, <laughs> oh, poopers, because I, I tried to... I didn't think that far ahead to allow my blocks to clear their way through. Alas, alas, I'm just gonna wait for the garbage to fill up a little bit more here. I just wanna... there we go. Just wanna... oh shoot, that's actually... I need to get down the layer. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, this is kind of a bad situation. Uh, yeah, the whole thing is just garbage. <laughs> I'll put that over there. I'll get a two chain off that easy. Then I can think ahead here as to what I want to do. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Plop that around there. I don't have anything in position for those. At least in t uh, to get them in time. Uh, let's see what we get here. Um... That's a... Uh, I don't know. I don't like that pattern. <laughs> Does not suit my chaining. Uh, is it? Oh, I win. Doesn't matter how it suits my chaining, I still win. <laughs> Woo! And there we go. Well, you were good. That was nice. But you could be even stronger. Could I? Could I? Would I? Maybe. Hello, this is Professor Elm. Great job! You really polished your technique. Now it's time for you to take the hard path. Are you mentally prepared? I'm rooting for you. Oh, thank you. Alas, alas, that is the end of the normal mode, but there are more opponents in other modes. And I would like to show you something else. I'm just going to skip past this here really quick. I'm going to show you the... Uh, puzzle mode here, uh, uh, yeah, I, I suppose. <laughs> Hi there! I'm Professor Oak! <laughs> clear the blocks and the moves shown to clear the puzzle! Press the B button to undo your last move if you make a mistake. Press select on this screen to get hints for me, but your hints are limited. <clears throat> so do not use miss up. What? Really? This is how you're starting it? <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Here we go. Oh man, such a difficult puzzle. See, over there at the move count there, you've only got that many moves to clear the puzzle. And in that case, it was just, yeah, don't don't move one of the blocks on the other side, just close it in. This one, eh, maybe, maybe would throw off new players, because they might not see they gotta drop this down in one move. Maybe, maybe, but the puzzles, as you go, they get harder and harder and harder to the point that they are ridiculously hard. And this one is a one mover. So, yep, it's looking like we can sort of kind of, yep, do a combo of six there and send five garbage block over to the opponents. <laughs> nah, no opponents here. No opponents here. This one should be pretty obvious if you've been looking at the pattern of the last one. And what? <clears throat> There's also a little timer saying how long it's taking you, so if you got like all the puzzles memorized, you could in theory speedrun it all, I guess. 
But I don't think I've ever finished all the puzzles, if I recall correctly. So that ain't gonna happen anytime soon. <laughs> I probably maxed out the clock at 99 hours. Probably no, actually I don't know what I got. <laughs> uh, it's another sort of kind of flipper pattern. No sorts of chains or anything like that this early in the game. So it's still pretty easy, but yeah, the puzzle mode, they can have all sorts of stuff, and they can also increase the move counts, so that it makes things a whole lot more complicated. Uh, this one, go right down in the middle here, and there'll be two little separate giblets going on there. <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> So basically, as you can tell, Puzzle Mode is to clear all of locks! All of them! Oh man, one move! One move! Wait a second! How does this go? You actually gotta make yourself a chain now! Oh, look at that! Yeah, and these sorts of chains and stuff like that get more complicated as you go. In the N64 version, uh, Puzzle League, there's actually ones where you have, um, action chains, where you're actually skillfully doing or moving pieces in the middle of uh, chaining to do the puzzle so those are even trickier because you gotta kind of sort of plan ahead and then kind of move to the beats of the uh, the movements and stuff like that and yeah I unlocked round two there so the barrier is gone but I'm not I'm not going until I finish round one here they, we, there, there's no such thing as quitting until we finish round one this one has two solutions Right here and right here where you switch blocks, yeah. Switch your blocks between the cursor, and I hope you can really see that cursor um, flashing, because I know that it's, it's you know, the frame rates, it might match up to something that is not favorable <laughs> in the recording. But, uh, yeah, like, see, oh, I guess you can see it in the recording. Okay, so three moves this time. Now, so if you, if you were to do it here, you would mess up, because then you wouldn't be able to get these. And, oh, see, like that, I, I kind of, whoops, 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 going back. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, that's the power of going back. And moving on. <laughs> and once you complete an entire stage, you get an extra hint. And you can also unlock characters. Um, yes, 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 but... Well, that's that's for a whole other walkthrough, but anyway, I'm gonna go back to other sorts of modes here. Like, you got your traditional marathon modes for a puzzle game where you go until you die, and there's also trying to get a high score within a certain time, clearing um, certain particular line amounts, um, there's also overwhelming amounts of garbage modes, but there you basically seen this one, this one, this one, and this one in their own forms <laughs> through challenge, I guess you could say. So, yeah, I, I think it's a pretty good idea to end off this video now. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video!